Welcome to the third part of block work in construction. In this part, we will be calculating the quantity of blocks required for the simple plan for both nominal and coordination dimension method. But before we get into this video, if you enjoy my content and you hope to see more of this, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so as to get notified anytime I drop a new video. So without wasting much of your time, let's get into this video. Before we get into this video, a general note and few assumptions. The headroom height is 3 meters. The size of our W1 has 900 by 900 mm, one number. W2, 900 by 1200, two numbers. W3, 1200 by 1200 mm, one number. D1, 900 by 2100 mm, one number. D2, 800 by 2100 mm, one number. And we have two types of wall thickness. We have 225 wall thickness, both externally and internally. And we have have 150 mm wall thickness around W3. Calculating the external wall 225 mm thick. In calculating the external wall, we use the formula 2 bracket length plus width minus 4 thickness. Our length 4075 plus 3000, which is the width. When we add the two together, we have 7075. We multiply by 2, we have 14150. So we need to make deductions of the four thickness so it's going to be four multiplied by two multiplied by half multiplied by two two five this is the explanation we will be deducting half of two two five from the length at one junction and from the width so we're making two deductions at a junction that's why we have two half so when we are multiply all of them together we have 900 opening around w3 700 when we make adjustment we have 12550 mm we convert to meters in order to make our work more easier. 12,550 divided by 1,000. We have 12.55. We multiply by the headroom height in order to get our quantity in square meter. When we multiply 12.55 by 3.00, we have 37.65. The dot openings, we have W2, which is two numbers. A 0 0.9 multiplied by 1.2 multiplied by 2, we have 3.78. D1, a 0 0.9 multiplied by 2.1, we have 1.89. We make adjustment for lintel. I will be adding half of one block to each side, making one block. So 2 to 5 to the right, and 225 to the left. So we have 450 plus 900. We have 1350. That's 1.35 multiplied by the width of our block. That's 0 0.23. That's 3. We have 3 of 900. So that's W2, which is 2, and D1, which is 1. So when we multiply it together, we have 0 0.93. So when we make adjustment, we have 31.05 internal wall thickness 225 mm we have 2550 long that's 2.55 multiplied by 3 we have 7.65 make deduction of d2 that's 800 by 21 which is 0 0.8 multiplied by 2.1 which is 1.68 lintel we add 450 to 800 that's 1.250 multiplied by the width of one block 1.25 multiplied by 0 0.23 which is 0 0.29 when we deduct we have 5.68 the total area for our 225 mm thick block is 31.05 plus 5.68 we have 36.73 150 mm thick wall we have 475 on one side and 475 on the other side multiplied by 2 we have 950 and 700 around w3 when we add the two together we have 1650 converting to meters we have 1.65 multiplied by 3 we have 4 Point nine five. We make deduction of W3, which is 1.2 multiplied by 1.2, and we have 1.44. Adjustment for lintel 1.65 multiplied by 0 0.23, we have 0 0.38. When we deduct, we have 3.13 square meter for 150 mm thick wall. Calculating the number of blocks without mortar. Total area for 225 mm thick wall, we have 36.73. Area of one block without mortar is 0 0.4. 45 multiplied by 0 0.225 we have 0 0.10125 36.73 square meter divided by 0 0.10125 square meter we have 362.7654321 block so when we make adjustment for 10% wasted we have 362.764 
54321 multiplied by 10 percent we have 399.041 that's 399 blocks number of blocks required with mortar total area equals to 36.73 meter square area of one block with 25 mm thick mortar we have 0.45 plus 0.025 multiplied by 0.225 plus 0.025 equals to 0.475 multiplied by 0.250 we have 0.118 75 square meter number of blocks equals to 36.73 divided by 0.11875 we have 309.473 blocks when we add 10 percent wastage we have 309.473 multiplied by 10 percent we have 340 blocks that is all I have for you for today. I hope you find it helpful. If you have any question, feel free to drop them in the comment box. If you haven't subscribed, I will appreciate if you can. That is it for me for today. I will see you again next time. You're welcome.